Okay, so during Comic Con, you alluded to the boys season two touching on white supremacy, white nationalism, and race systemic racism. And I'm wondering, how do you juggle such heavy topics while still keeping the show as crazy and you know so satirically based as you do? Um, you know, I think it's the show is funny and sad and scary and satirical in the way that the world is, I guess. Um, you know, we, we just try to use as our guiding compass um, just this thought experiment of if superheroes really existed in our world, what are the things that would come out of it? And I think that allows us to sort of balance all of these sort of disparate things in a single tone is we're just working to ground everything as much as we can. And, and, you know, look, the heroes are absurd, but when you put them in the real world, absurd things happen, but you can, you can still ground them. And so that's how I think, you know, in the real world, certain characters are, certain people are racist. Certain people use their celebrity to ferment uh, division and white nationalism and America first ideologies. Like that just happens in the world. And so if it happens in the world, it can happen in the world of our show. Um, and, but because the people that are sometimes saying that stuff in our show happen to have magical powers, it lets you have some of these gonzo insane moments. And similarly, how do you know whenever you're crossing, like you're getting close to crossing the line that you keep from crossing it, if that makes sense? Uh, I don't know when we will cross the line and um, it'll happen. Um, you know, I, my serious answer to that is, it was actually something I learned from um, something Seth Rogen said that I thought was really wise um, when we were talking about season one, uh, which was, he's like, look, you can have like the craziest shit happen as long as you make it clear to the audience that you as the storyteller's heart is in the right place. Um, and, and that you can just sort of sense that like, oh, they're good natured though, and, or they're humanist, or they're not trying to be cruel, they're making a satirical point because our superheroes say the most awful shit. Um, awful. Uh, but it comes from a place of, we are holding them up as the villains. Um, you know, so I think that the trick is you can actually have anything happen as long as they, as long as the audience knows that you're, you have goodwill. 